people are going to be watching this going, Oh, Derek, I didn't think you made sneaker content anymore. Well, we're going to talk about sneakers. What's up, you guys? We are back again with another video. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. As you saw in the beginning of the video, this video, it's kind of a, it's kind of a loophole. I am going to show you sneakers that I got since the last time we've talked about shoes, but I also want to just like reiterate something. I had a conversation the other day with somebody about sneaker culture, YouTube sneakers, like what really is it anymore? Like, was it something good at one point? Has it ever been good? Like, but yeah, let's get into it real quick. I'm just going to talk about this real quick and then we are going to look at some shoes. The past few months, I've, as you guys, if you follow the channel, you know that we're kind of in a natural changing point that's kind of happened where I just don't like to make regurgitated sneaker content. Like it's just not, there's so much of it and there's so much, I guess, mid-grade sneaker content with the same shoes and the, oh, I spent $10,000 in, in a fucking thing store. Like, I don't like that shit. I wear sneakers because I like them. I like sneakers because they're comfortable. I like the way they look. I don't really care if it's hyped up, if it looks good, if it fits the aesthetic that I'm trying to go for, I fuck with it. Like that's always been my thing. I don't like to have sneakers that everybody else has. That's not a, I don't like to follow like hyper trends and like hype beast culture. Like it's just really not, and has never been the way that I wanted to do things. I do somewhat still consider myself like an OG style, old school sneakerhead. I like to, I have my models that I go after. I have the stuff that I like and I, I'll try new things. And if I don't like it, then I'm not just going to wear it just because everybody else is. Um, and that, that's what I hope people now realize is, you know, I think when we all think of like hype beast culture, like in 2015 through like 2020, it was just like nauseating. It was a lot of just like culture vulturing and just like people just swooping in and trying to make money off of reselling like Supreme and Bape and shit like that. And it's just, that's never really what this has ever been about. You ask anybody that's, you know, done it for a while, old heads as some would call us. Um, that's never really been what it's about. It's about individuality. It's about creating something that feels unique to you. And uh, hopefully, you guys are kind of on the same wave that I am. I, I That's one of my big things I've always preached on this channel is definitely wear what you like. Do not follow trends just because somebody on the internet fucking told you to wear something. That's not cool. We have some sneakers over here on the side. That's just like my quick soapbox. I will kind of dive in deeper on it, but I wanted to show you guys the shoes I have picked up, what I've added. It's all Air Maxes, so I can just like spoil that for you right now. I've been on a crazy Air Max kick like the past year and a half, and these are some of the models since the last time we showed you, which I genuinely don't even remember what the last shoe I showed on the channel was. It might've been like the turquoise Air Max 90s. Like, I don't know. I I can't even remember the last thing we showed, but we got some cool stuff over here real quick. Let me get it set up. Six and a half hours later. Oh, I had to go get a fan. It's so fucking hot in this room. Yeah, I live in Virginia and it is like brutally humid at times here. And there's you're in the mountains, so there's nowhere for it to go. But anyways, we're back here. Got some shoes I want to look at. The first ones I wanted to show you are actually kind of goofy. I check my Goodwills pretty frequently. You guys know that on the channel. We find a lot of stuff, a lot of things that are coming up in future content is going to revolve around that for sure. We found these, I think for like... I might have paid like eight bucks for these, but uh, definitely check your Goodwills. You usually are gonna find a bunch of junk, but you never know what you can find. Sometimes you find junk and then sometimes you find a Nike ID that somebody did that didn't turn out really bad. Um, <laughs> sometimes I find IDs like out in the wild and I'm just like, what? Like somebody was drunk the night that they made that. But we found this right here. It's an old school style Air Max 90 ID with the Lunar Line midsole, which is kind of cool with this like Carolina blue gradient down throughout it. Um, it's a little creased up. It's the leather type. But other than that, it's actually in pretty good shape. You got your full blue on the back. That's pretty snazzy. Uh, it's like a laser blue, um, like a laser blue Carolina blue. As you guys know, I am still on the hunt for the laser blue Air Max 3, the retros that they did. I just, every time I try and find that shoe, it just gets more and more and more complicated, um, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So I find it in other avenues, I guess, to vicariously have that shoe, which that's kind of a spoiler for an, another shoe that we have there. If you follow me on Instagram, which I posted today, uh, we have these Air Max 90s IDs. This is the old school one. It doesn't have the stitching that the new ones have. 
but I haven't worn these yet. I don't know if I'm gonna wear them. I might put them on my eBay store. So if you guys like these, if you wanna buy them, I'm probably gonna have them for like, I don't know, 40 bucks or something like that. But I might try them and if I don't like them, I'll put them on the eBay store. But these were kind of cool to find for like seven, eight bucks, something like that. Um, so definitely check your Goodwills because you can find some cool shit. The next two are also deals like, so as I said in the beginning of the video, y'all, like you do not have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on sneakers. You don't have to. If you stay through eBay, if you stay on Macari, if you stay on Poshmark, all these other like selling websites, if you just stay on your on the grind pretty much, that's always what I preach to people. Like if you just keep looking and keep knowing what's there, you're gonna find the deal. And if somebody, you know, if you wanna put an offer in, put an offer in for something, because that's what I like to do. Um, this was definitely a shoe that I was glad to find because back in the day, I really wanted this shoe. And I'm glad now that I have it in my size. Um, and I got these for really cheap. I think I paid maybe $45 for these, maybe. But you can see here, it is the Jacquard Air Max 90. It's got the Nike Free. As you see, I wear these. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is the Nike Jacquard Air Max 90. This is the gold. This is the quick strike pack that they did on it. Um, right here, you do have 3M that is in this section, as well as I think on this section. I could be wrong on that. But um, yeah, this is such a cool shoe. I think it might just be white. Yeah, I think the 3M is on these two pieces right here. As you can see, you have your little gold shark fin, but you do have the Nike Free on these. People, if you had Jacquard's, uh, throw a like down, the, like throw, put a like on the video, because Jacquard's are dope. I, if they could ever bring something back randomly, I think a Jacquard uh, style, at least with that sole, would be kind of cool to see them try and redo. It is kind of like 2015 technology. Um, cause these were made in 2013 through 2014. Oh, that's weird. Well, the production date on this was, oh, it's 11. I thought it said January through February of the next year. I was like, God damn. Um, <laughs> no, but this was a cool pickup to have. They are really comfortable still. Some of the like mid to like 2010s, Air Max 90s, they kind of, I think, struggle in the comfort zone until you really kind of break them in. And now they may just break on you because you know, they have like the 10 year shelf life that really comes around, but these are still doing really well. And yeah, was really glad to pick these up. It's a really cool colorway um, and definitely good for like the fall coming up and everything like that. But yeah, Jacquard Air Max 90 Quick Strike Golds. Yeah, boom. These are the ones I wore today. I put these on my Instagram. I bought these, this is a really funny story. So I was on Macari one night and I was just scrolling through just regular Air Maxes, 20, I think like 12 and a half through 13, new listed, went through all that stuff and was looking at it and I saw this and the it immediately caught my attention because I was like, ooh, I like that colorway. That's really nice looking. And then I saw that they only wanted like 25 or $30 for them. And I was like, uh, a little sus, but sure, we'll check it out. And then I looked at the listing and they had these as a Nike Air Max DD. And I was like, the fuck? Like, there's, is there a DD? And I was like, nah. Um, <laughs> but this was the shoe that it was. And I actually got this shoe for less than that. I gave them an offer for $20. I asked them if the air bubbles were okay. And they said, yeah, that's fine. It's just, you know, just they're not being worn and we're cleaning out of the garage or something like that. And uh, yeah, right here. Laser blue 95s, like the shit was sweet to find. I just, like I said earlier, the laser blue colorway is one that I really do enjoy. I had been wanting to get 95s, I hadn't had any. So I was like, you know, I might as well just take a gander and take a take a shot on them. And yeah, all the air bubbles were fine. That was my big concern with it, with the price where I was like, I'm sure one of these has popped or something and that's why they're so cheap. But nah, they're all in really good shape. Still really firm and everything, nice and squishy. Um, but this shoe, was a i had to legit check the fuck out of it before i was gonna do that which it did pass everything that was going through which is nice um not a really not a lot on the internet about this shoe like honestly this was i don't know if it was mostly an asian release if they put them out in the us i'm not really sure but uh the laser blue colorway this one's really sick i wore this with some jeans today and it finally was like the outfit that i think i could have used for it like i said yeah I've, I've got some jeans with it today that look pretty good that was always kind of my hard part of wearing this shoe is that black sole, that black midsole, that is a new thing for your boy. I am not used to a light upper and a dark lower part of the shoe and like the midsole 
and uh, it was a it was a lot of difference for me to try and like figure out like how am I gonna wear this? But I like it. I like the it's you gotta go with a little more Euro style. I think when you start getting into the 95s. So I just did some jeans covering like the little tongue part, and it was it was sweet. I liked it. I thought it was cool. But yeah, laser blues 95s. These are sweet and for such a good price. I, there ain't nothing but just love with this one. I don't know if, I don't believe I've shown this one. I don't think I did show this on the channel yet, but as you guys know, Air Max 90s are my favorite one that is out there. Um, the Recraft pack is one that I like consistently just kind of try and get piece by piece. I know that I'm gonna complete it one day. There's still some that are a little out of the range that I really wanna spend on certain ones. So you just kind of have to wait. Um, these, I think I ended up getting these for a really good deal, probably like 130, 120, something like that. But that is your Rose pink Air Max 90s with the recraft as you can see right there you got your little stitch there's so much on the internet about these I don't really have to dive into a lot but I love the colorway um, this is one of my favorite colorways of all of the shoes in that pack other than like the nine, like the infrared recraft and stuff I think that this pink one was awesome it's a great colorway and for men who like to wear pink this is a shoe I highly recommend you own just because it looks really good. I get compliments all the time when I wear this shoe. Um, I don't know if it's just like a burly man in pink that just gets some people. But yeah, I fuck with this colorway very heavily. And I think if you like the Air Max 90, if you like the recrafts, they're super comfortable. Um, this is definitely one that I think you should have in your collection. And you can still get it pretty cheap. You can get it pretty much around what the retail price was on it, depending on your size. Um, but yeah, that one right there, then pinks. Got the black and pink on the back. This one's a really fun shoe to wear every once in a while. It's good for the summer right now. So yeah, I like this shoe a lot. We'll step away from Air Max for a second. Um, don't worry, we'll get back to it. Those are the last three that we got to show, but there is a new model that I have um, kind of fallen in love with over the past year. Um, I found a pair of pure platinums of these, which are pretty much like the all white at the Goodwill for like 20 bucks and just got them for everyday shoes. I won't show them to you because they're pretty much beat to this point, but they are a super comfortable shoe and I'm very glad that I did it. I'm a little late on the train too. So I'm sure somebody will put in the comments like, what the fuck, man? Like we've been on this for years, but your boy has not, okay? Because I am a creature of habit and I don't like to try new things until it's pretty much already done. <laughs> but I saw these on Nike.com, saw them on clearance for like 60 something bucks, like super fucking cheap. And I was like, ah, I might as well try them. After I got the other ones, I realized how comfortable they were, warm to work a few times I was like I'm gonna need a new colorway and this was the colorway that I got and it is your Nike Air Presto this is the tie-dye color that they did um, this shoe is sick I like the inside where you have the little lavender swoosh right there as you can see these have been worn um, a little scuffed up and stuff but I fuck with the Air Prestos this is a cool looking shoe I love them on feet they're extremely comfortable um, and this colorway is really sick all the different patterns I'm pretty sure it's probably one of those shoes where every pair looks a little bit different whenever you have the tie-dye have your super crimson swoosh on there you got your nike air on the back right here with your black and gray tongue tab inside you have the red inline you have the red sock liner have your little air presto dude up on here the cage um obviously we cannot talk about this shoe without talking about the ultra boost the ultra boost uh, a, a fan favorite on the channel um <laughs> we dedicated years to that model this is very much i think where it comes from uh it's got a similar comfort to it not exactly as comfortable as an ultra boost but the cage the feel like you understand where the design team was at least looking when they started going at this i'm not saying that adidas ripped off nike i'm not saying that nike then took react and ripped off adidas i think that they are a company Two companies that just kind of bounce ideas towards each other and see how the other one reacts. Ha, get it? Um, <laughs> but yeah, this Air Presto, I'm a big fan of these. You can get a lot of the colorways too, pretty cheap. Um, outlets have a bunch of them. I like the little guard on top. And I'm, I think I'm like slowly getting myself into like Air Max Plus and the T, like AKA TNs. And you know, I, I've looked at the tuned airline and I'm like, ah, like it's still a little robot looking for me, but this was a cool one to get. Maybe we'll slowly get, I love the swoosh on the front too, right in the middle. I think that's a cool little design part on it. And the sizing is weird with these. If you guys know Air Prestos, they go through like a shirt size. It's like a small through XL, double XL thing. Um, Cause they said they wanted shoes like a shirt. 
That's what everything on the shoe will ever tell you is the sizing was the weird thing. Um, I got a 13 in these. They got a little room to them. I probably could have worn a 12, um, but I, the other ones fit the way that they were supposed to. So I just kind of went with these, but these do have a little bit more looser uh, knitting on top of it. But I really like this shoe. It's definitely a sleeper shoe. Um, and when you can get a shoe for under 75 bucks off of Nike shipped, that's pretty good, especially when they look this good. But yeah, got the Air Presto in the tie-dye colorway. This is a cool shoe for the summer. And uh, yeah, so got some wear left in it. This next shoe is a bit, I think, I think we're going to have a little controversial moment in the video on this particular pair because I think anybody that slept on this pair and didn't buy it or just thinks it's garbage or anything like that is fucking dumb. Like, I think you're stupid. I genuinely think low IQ because this shoe has everything that I wanted on it. I may have gone a different choice of material, but with the theme of the shoe, I want 150% get why it is this, and we'll explain that. And that shoe is none other than the Japan Air Max 95. This is the quick strike they did a few years ago. I do not get why this shoe is, I bought this shoe for like, I think maybe $65, like 65 shipped. I think I made a put an offer, maybe even less that I might've bought these for like 50 something. Um, it came in a Jordan five box, which was weird as shit too. But yeah, the 95 Japan, this shit is absolutely crazy. As you can see right there, you have the air and then on the back, you have all the little, like it's got like three M lotuses on it on the inside, like the bottom, you have the little, little flowers and stuff like, I think the reason maybe people didn't really like this shoe too much may have been the material. This canvas material can get dirty um, and kind of dingy, but I think that over time, it's kind of the intention of it, and you can kind of like pull the fabric and stuff, <laughs> but I think over time, this shoe is just going to look really cool, um, and that natural kind of wear and tear will do really well on the canvas. As you can see, like on the back right here, this is kind of a 95 problem, but when you use this material, it kind of frays up. It's kind of like a natural wear and tear on it. I love it. I think it's a great idea. I think the concept of this shoe worked really well. I love the red up and down the sides. I think the piping is cool. The inside, you, mine's kind of worn because I fucking have flat feet. Um, but yeah, the Japanese blossoms and just the theme, like they really took a shoe that was already cool and I think just made it like 10 times cooler. I love the gradient. I love the white base on it. Like I said, that's always been the problem with a 95 is that black midsole. But when they do a white midsole, it's I get that they get dirty and that the whole like idea behind the shoe was to make it last long and it not get dirty and stuff like that. But this is one specific colorway that I think people, and that red bottom on the bottom, like I don't get why people don't like the shoe. I don't know if it's just people don't like it because it wasn't hyped up and just you know it went under the way i mean but it's it's a cool shoe i will say that the canvas material it's a little stiffer than like the laser blues that i have but i i, I like the way it is um it, the sizing on it though i would tell you that it is since it doesn't have as much give on it you kind of have to be pretty specific on the size that you want to get i got a 13 I could not have gotten a 12 and a half. That was, that would have not been an option. It is like super formed once it, but once you start kind of breaking it in, this is one of the most comfortable shoes that I have. And I've grown to really enjoy wearing these whenever I do. Um, but yeah, I can, I can gush over the shoe. Like for, I could do a whole video just on this shoe. Um, but yeah, Air Max 95, Japan's, these shits, fire. We kind of just showed a material shoe. Um, this shoe right here though, this one is, <laughs> I have to have this shoe. This was one, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, kind of have to have those. Um, I love the different materials on this one. I got this one also for a steal. I think I paid maybe 80, 89, maybe 90 something bucks shipped for these. Got them off of eBay. And that is your Air Max One in the tree line. This shoe, I absolutely love. I love the suede, as you can see right there. You have that really nice kind of long haired suede that's on there. The green suede, it's not the greatest in the world, but it is pretty good. It makes me think of like a putting green. Um, it has like golf vibes to it. Uh, I know people, when this came out, they were talking about it being like Nike's 420 shoe. It's, I mean, it is and it's not. Like it's definitely got some colors that are reminiscent of things like that, especially when you 
kind of get in the shag and everything like that. Like if you know, you know, but <laughs> I think that this shoe overall is just a really well executed colorway. I did keep the green laces in. I've seen people that put the white laces in. I saw some cream laces in it that looked really sweet, um, but I just kind of kept it original. I love the tongue that you have there. You have that kind of like purple Merlot with the black, just like super old school style with the good like piping and the green. It's like the super sweet kind of evergreen serpentine green, which is like one of my favorite colors. You're inside, you have the old school. Like this is this is a shoe, I think, if you're an Air Max 1 fan, you this is one you probably probably already have, honestly. I, I think that a lot of people ended up buying this shoe and I hope people like it. I love the piping, or at least the material they used right here. Um, it's like copper, it's like a fucking penny. Like, it's like a brand new Abraham Lincoln penny. Like, I, I dig it. That's like my favorite thing. Your toe box kind of has the same effect and everything on there. But the only thing I would tell you with this shoe is don't wear this on a rainy day. This shoe, this suede on here is pretty fragile in a way of it spotting and stuff like that, which if you guys have already had suede shoes, you know that you should already know that. But yeah, definitely think that this is one, if you like the colorway, you should buy it. Um, and if you want something just kind of, kind of subtle, but also with a little bit of pop, I think that this shoe right here, it's perfect. But yeah, like a penny right there. Look at that shit, it's great. All right, well, that's gonna be, man, this video is long. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like I said, you guys, before we get on this last shoe, this is definitely gonna be the climax of it because this is my favorite pickup that I've had all year, um, hands down. Not a mad, not a doubt in my mind, this is my favorite pickup. Yeah, if you guys like sneakers, that's awesome. Um, I'd naturally kind of move the channel, I think, away from at least it being strictly that type of content. I'm gonna fucking show you the shoes I wear. I'm not gonna like not make sneaker content just cause I like, I like sneakers. I, it's not gonna, it's not going anywhere, but I don't think necessarily that it's the prime objective of my life right now. And also I don't think it's the prime objective of what you should be watching when you are looking into what I do. Um, I, I, for the longest I, I did sneakers and did that cause I knew that people would like to watch it. And it was cool and I had genuine fun and it was a good time and the fucking death of Jordan and like Adidas and Boost taking over and like it just started the wave and a lot of people jumped on it and then people jumped right off. And you know, some of us stuck around and some of us didn't and it's, it's all good. Like I got into making content on stuff that I like and I feel that this channel and the vlog is a true representation of me and I can't really give you a true represent, representation of me without showing you what's on my feet. Is like I fuck with sneakers. That's that's a big motivator and a big point of inspiration that I take is sneaker design and sneaker culture and just you know it's integral in music and just like being in production and any realm of hip hop or anything like that, like hardcore music, like Air Max is it's just like it's it's a culture. There is such a there's a big thing. And I think that that's really what the channel is gonna be more like directed towards is like what I'm doing in my life and how I'm trying to make an effect in the culture that I'm around and the culture that I take part in and I claim like I claim like some home like a sense of home in it like and that's what sneakers has always been I've always been a fan of this stuff so it's it's not going anywhere so if you guys like the channel for sneakers definitely like just keep keep in mind they're gonna be here if I get something dope I'm gonna show you guys but I'm a musician at the end of the day that's that's what this channel now is for we're gonna appreciate good music we're gonna show good products but at the same time like I got shit to make and I hope that you guys are there for the ride but enough talk on that one. Like I said, um, video's already gone too long, but this next shoe, this is probably, like I said, my favorite pickup of the year. I got these for a awesome deal. I bought them for 70 bucks on eBay. Like I said, it was just one day I was at lunch and they popped up on eBay and I was like, if I do not buy this shoe right now, it will be gone by the time lunchtime comes around. And I was just like, all right, and I just pulled the trigger, sent a bit in, and the guy and the person took it. So shout out to whoever sold me these. Um, they're in phenomenal condition because this shoe is, it has been worn, it's not brand new, but it is, whoever had these, I don't think really wore them that much, and they did keep them in good shape. And uh, I'm just super hyped about the shoe. It is one of my favorite things that I've gotten this year, regardless of what it is, but that is the Air Max 93. This is the Dusty Cactus, aka the Menthols. This is the OG Drop colorway. This is the 2019 pair, I think. 2019, 2018, one of those. Um, the, the retro, last retro that they did. But as you can see, it's got a little bit of discoloration and a little bit of oxidization on the swoosh. But if you guys have ever seen these shoes, at least on eBay or anything like that, 
for the price that I paid for this shoe, I have to say I am absolutely like flabbergasted at how good of shape it's in. Obviously you have like some creasing. I wore these the other day. The leather on it's not super great. It's gonna crease up as soon as you wear it. So you might as well just get used to that. But the discolorization, that midsole's still white. The bubble's still clear. Like, and if you see these, some of these bitches look green. Like the whole dusty menthol, like it still looks good. It's still in good shape. I'm sure the camera's doing it just so much service too. Um, but only really near that back part do you get any type of greenage. Um, I don't know if it's just the material they use over age or over time just kind of changes. But yeah, toe box is nice. Not a lot of yellowing in it. Um, yeah, was super, super excited to find this shoe. I have looked for this shoe for years. Um, other than when, when I got back into Air Maxes, this was like one of the top fives. I've got to get this somehow, some way. And it came. And um, that's what I was saying at the beginning. You just have to stay diligent and you're going to find stuff that you like. These look sick on feet. They are very comfortable too. I will give them that. Um, the forefoot's great. I would say that the only thing I do find is that the 270 unit back here, it does kind of weigh on the back of your foot a little bit throughout the day. I mean, I was on these for like eight, nine hours um, at work and I didn't have any foot fatigue or wasn't that, but you could definitely feel the separation from this part forward and this part backwards. Um, but also it's a shoe from 1993. So if you were expecting uh, way too much from this, then you should probably just kind of lower your expectations. Um, these shoes are great. The reason that we like Air Maxes and people who are Air Max fans, the reason we like these is because it is a, it's a classic look. It's a classic 90s kind of runner look that people love and just kind of naturally draw to. And the colorway is just, I can wear this with so much. Um, and I, I'm so glad that I finally got to pick this shoe up. And uh, yeah, for 70 bucks, this is pretty fucking sweet. I have to be honest. Uh, so glad I have you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the content. Just keep staying tuned on everything. We're going to have music coming out soon. I have some projects that are going down. I have some live shows that are going as well that are going to be up a few, few bleh, some live performances and live shows that we're going to be doing over the next few weeks. So I definitely will have a video coming up on that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. See you. Peace.